Hello guys, how's it going? It's, yeah, I think it's working. I'm not sure. Let me check. Once I see that, I'll start talking. The usual stuff. I haven't streamed in like, what, six months? Kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I think it's working. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Full quality ahead. Fantastic. Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm going to be playing games under $5 from the Steam Summer Sale 2019. I'm going to be changing the prices over there once I'm changing games. It will be like 5 to 10 minutes each. Cuando Roxas, todo bien, tanto tiempo. Killer Kane, how are you doing? Angry Gamer. Let's Noob Gaming HD, 3ADL. How's it going, guys? So, yeah, I'm going to be playing some of the games I talked about today. One of them is Alan Wake. This is now on 1080p on the 1050Di and i3-8100. I'm going to be using not maximum settings, but kind of close. Medium shadows will be the only, thing I, the only thing I downgraded. No big deal. So yeah, after this I'll be switching to, I think, Fallout New Vegas, if I remember correctly. You're good? Awesome. I'm good too. I figure I'm a problem with insurgency. What was it? I thought it was something to do with scopes. Probably not. Oh yeah, for some reason insurgency... I mean, they do sco scopes accurately. So it uses a lot of resources. So I thought it was that. But tell me what it was. Can your i3-100 handle a 1060? Yes, of course. Most games should be totally fine. Yeah, as you can see, when you use flares, the performance goes to hell. Also, guys, I'm using a controller to play this. With mouse and keyboard, this game doesn't feel right for some reason. I don't think if it, I'm not sure if it's mouse acceleration or something like that. But yeah. Oh. Awesome, Thunder God, aka Drew. Glad to know I could be of help to you. Oh, the map. Okay, yeah, some maps are more demanding than others. So yeah, it makes sense. W what's the name of the map so I can test it in the channel? It will be interesting. Okay, almost got him. Poltergeist stuff, as you can see. Okay, got him. More jugado con un jueguito en Athlon y una GT610. Pa, qué diferencia. Qué loco que funcione en esa máquina. Pero está considerando que es DirectX 9. Tiene sentido. Awesome, Eric. Thanks for joining us. How are you doing? So, right now I'm trying to save my wife, Alice. It's being kidnapped in this game. Super weird stuff going on all the time. But yeah, highly, highly recommend this game. It's only 449 US dollars. There's also an expansion called American Nightmare, but that's more of an arcade game. Way shorter, so it's cheaper. But yeah. Still worth playing, at least in my opinion. Okay, flash grenades. Always good. They gave this away for free ages ago. Hmm, I don't remember. Was I making YouTube videos back then? Was it before 2014? What's up, call me Venom? You're banned from Steam. Well, I don't know, man. Maybe someone reported you for hacking, or maybe you bought something from a different region. I don't know, man. You should ask support. Support should give you a reason. I'm, I, I have no way to know why you were banned. Thanks, TN underscore T. Te saludo en español, Martincho. ¿Cómo estás? Soy de Sudamérica, de Río de la Plata. Ah, Rey Nagar. ¿Quién juega in-game en Argentina? Todo juegan en game. ¿Qué esperar de las RTX Super? Y no espero mucho. 
Yo decía en inglés y después en español. Someone asked me in Spanish, what do I think about, what do I expect from the RTX Super graphics cards? Oh, well, I'm going to say it in English, then in Spanish. What I think is that Nvidia is trying to first compete with Navi, the new AMD cards. So they are going to try and make something faster than a 2060, faster than a 2070, and faster than a 2080. So you have the 2060 Super, the 2070 Super, and the 2080 Super. So it will be something between a 2060 and a 2070, something between a 2070 and a 2080, and something between a 2080 and a 2080 Ti. So they are trying to put more products. So they ha you have more choices. And it's harder to, for AMD to compete since they are covering many more price points. And yeah, that's what I think they are trying to do. But if it's the same price, the super cards as the ones that are existing right now, well, the people that got the RTX cards, the first ones, are going to be really pissed. Sí, subí mucho de nivel en este team. I'm going to say the same now, but in Spanish. Lo que creo que Nvidia está tratando de hacer con la super, las RTX super, es hacer que sea más difícil para AMD competir. Entonces van a poner algo entre la 2060 y la 2070, algo entre la 2070 y la 2080, y algo entre la 2080 y la 2080 Ti. Entonces tienen como más segmentos ahí para competir, y a AMD le cuesta mucho más. Solo que claro, apesta para la gente que compró las RTX comunes, porque van a costar lo mismo, se supone, ¿no? Bueno, gracias Martincho por mirar los videos. Vecino de Argentina. You ordered an RTX 2060 for 340. Okay, that's not a bad price. It's the 350 CMSRP, right? Jesus, this ones take a lot of light. And as you can see again, the um, flares destroy performance. This effect. Still completely playable, over 40. Come on. Hang on a second, I have double audio. Yeah, the volume of the monitor was up. Sorry about that, guys. Do you recommend Alan Wake with gamepad or give her a mouse and playing with uh, an Xbox One controller? So I highly, highly recommend a controller. Let me see if mouse and keyboard is improved or not. This is not the mouse. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the mouse, as I go to the corners, is slowing down. Not sure if this is mass acceleration. Yeah, it seems to be a little of there seems to be a little mass acceleration. But yeah, I mean it's still usable, but I feel like the mouse just is deaccelerating as I get to the corner of the screen. Not sure if he, if that's intended. But yeah, I mean mouse and keyboard seems to be usable. I still prefer a controller for this. But probably because I like playing Resident Evil 4 and 5 with a controller instead of a mouse is the reason why. The camera angle is f farther back, but it still feels pretty similar when you aim due to the angle of the character and the weapon. So yeah. Okay. Killing Floor 2. Yeah, fantastic game. I love Killing Floor 2. But it's not under $5, unfortunately. You can get Killing Floor 1 for under 5 Okay, I found a secret. Awesome. Flashbangs, always useful. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, I want to go back to the controller. I'm not comfortable with this. At all. I mean, I'm also not used to playing this game with mouse and keyboard. Oh, no ammo. Genius. But yeah, as you can see, it's still playable. I make a whole lot more noise <laughs> when I'm playing with mouse and keyboard. Okay, fantastic. In your country, the difference between 1050 Ti plus 8100 and 1660 and 9400F is $60. Then get a 1660 and the i5. Yeah, get the 1660 and the i5. The 1660 is way faster than a 1050 Ti. And the i5-9400F is way faster than the i3-8100 in pretty much all games. So yeah, I mean, 
No reason not to get that. Sí, Nubem tiene buenos precios también si estás en Sudamérica. Okay, guys, I'm going to swap games now. I played like eight minutes. I'm going to swap games. So I say goodbye to Alan Wake for now. Let me see. Okay. Good. I'm going to swap to Borderlands 2 now. So give me one second. I have to change the text and all that. Borderlands 2. And I have to change the image as well. Okay. Awesome. So we're going to jump into Borderlands 2. It's been updated very recently. They added the HD textures, um, better shadows and better ambient occlusion. Other than that, there hasn't been much of a change. We're still on DirectX 9, so we get some annoying drops in performance. But hey, if you want to s buy any of these games on Steam, links down in the description. But yeah, for $5, Borderlands 2 is amazing value. You can get the Handsome Collection for a dollar or two more. That includes a lot of DLC, plus the um, pre-sequel, which is the next game after this one. I don't want my frame rates capped. I want to unlock frame rates. Thanks. Nope. I want 1080p. Yeah, these menus are annoying, but I can still do stuff from the other menu. No physics, because it destroys performance. And the view distance, you want to put that on high. That's pretty much what I recommend. No physics and view distance, not on the maximum, keep it on high. And that will help you a lot when looking into the distance. Yeah, buy the Handsome Collection. The problem with the Handsome Collection and this video is that it's not under five. So the Handsome Collection is what, under, is under 10, but yeah. Better deal to get the Handsome Collection. Depends on the budget. But yeah. Esto es como verme a mí, ya que me llamo Santiago. Bueno, <laughs> que copión, bo. Todo mal. Any plan to do more 2200G benchmarks without the graphics card? I don't think so. At least not at least not for now. I'll do more 570 though. The RX 570 is great value right now. I think it's worth testing. But yeah. Yeah, same with the Valve Collection. The Valve... Uh, all the Valve games for, I forgot the price, but it's ridiculously cheap. So we're doing 1080 on this and yeah, pretty much maxed out, except in physics and draw distance. The draw distance is on high instead of ultra high because it destroys performance. So let's get playing. I'm going to make a new game because Want to hear another story. I just downloaded a save file when I made the, the first video to get a more demanding scenario. I'm going to select zero due to the um, sniper rifle or whatever and the invisibility. Great. But yeah, this game, a, a great sense of humor, a lot of uh, hours of gameplay, especially if you get the DLC, you get way more hours. For not a lot more money. Wait a minute. You're not but yeah. Dead. Yes, I'm yeah. not dead. Now I can get off this glacier. And the game still looks pretty good considering its age. The art style really helps it. Okay, the mass is very sensitive. Viva al capitalismo. Why is your gaming headset? This is uh, HyperX Cloud 2. HyperX Cloud 2. It's the most comfortable headset I ever used. I, it's not sponsored, the video is not sponsored by HyperX, I just bought this headset and I use it like more than 10 hours straight and I mean it doesn't feel uncomfortable, I'm very sensitive to that and super comfy and it sounds good. Okay. As you can see here it runs fine but in some levels later when there's a lot going on very, you can see very far into the distance, all that stuff. It will drop below 60. So yeah, keep that in mind. I wish they updated this to DirectX 11 or take advantage of multi-threading, of multi-threading on the CPUs. But no, that's not the case. They just added better shadows, which I appreciate, better textures, better ambient occlusion, but that's about it. 
Okay. Good. Yes, Borderlands 2 is 5, but if but you can get the Handsome Collection that includes some DLC and the pre-sequel for, I think, $2 more. So keep that in mind. How much FPS I will get on 7400, 8 gigs of RAM, 1660 Ti, you can do 4K 60 just fine, On this ca in this case, not demanding at all. But even if you play at 1080, it will drop below 60 in many places, where there's a lot of enemies, a lot of stuff into the stands. Just a problem with the game. But the pre-sequel runs significantly better. You can even use physics on that one. So yeah. Okay, what the hell? <laughs> How's it going? It's going fine. What about you? Marshall Alexander, it's been, it's been a while. Okay, finally something is happening. Okay, this is important to the plot. Now the robot doesn't have an eye, it will be hilarious. As you can see, he doesn't know where he's, where he's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, I have a weapon. A very terrible weapon compared for compared to what you are going to get later. Some ridiculous stuff. Some weapons even have some special skills, like when you're reloading them, the weapon turns into a grenade, so you just throw the weapon away, it explodes, and you get a new weapon. That's the reload mechanic sometimes. So yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Uruguay, and can you test the beta of Halo Reach? I don't have access to it. I signed up for the beta for the Master Chief Collection. I didn't get any emails yet. But I mean, once it's out for everyone, I'm going to get the... Um, what's the name of this? I'm going to purchase a game and play every single one of them and benchmark all of them. So, no worries. It'll take a while, but it'll be okay. Okay, where do I have to go? Mm. I think I have the DLC. Okay, never mind. Never mind, I have the DLC, that's why I have more locations to go. Never mind. Even though Knuckle Dragger blindsided me, I know my way around this glacier. I bet you will find my But yeah, now I'm in the very first level, so I just wanted to show you the very start. But it's going to take a while for me to get to something interesting, so I'm going to go straight into my save file. It will be more interesting. Or level 72. And let's go straight into it. I was trying to do the first part, but it's going to take a long time. So yeah, now in this one I am level 75, I think. So yeah, as you can see, this is the place that I got the wolf's numbers. This is the um, Tundra Express. As you can see, the, weapon, the weapons are very large, kind of pointless. Takes a whole lot of the screen. But as you can see, when I look into that place, it drops quite a bit into the 70s. But if you keep the draw distance maxed out, this will drop below 60. So yeah, it can be quite demanding, but not really. It seems to be just lack of optimization, as you can see the GPU usage drops, doesn't use them, it doesn't, it doesn't use it as its maximum, so... So yeah, that's the main problem, just a very few areas of the game have this problem, but I wanted to mention it. Okay. Oh yeah, it depends on the area, and that's about it. 
Is the 2600 Ryzen good? Yes, I think it's good, but I will wait for the 3600. It releases on Sunday, in a week from now, pretty much. So you can check the pricing, you can see the performance, see if it's worth the difference in price. And if the 2600 drops in price, it will be even better. So yeah, I will target that instead. But yeah, at the moment the 2600 is a good CPU. At least in my opinion. <laughs> but yeah, you don't need a lot of PC to run this, just expect the drops below 60 in some areas. Other than that, it's okay. I need, I need it's just five dollars without the DLC. And they are kicking my ass, awesome. Oh, no, no ammo, awesome. Okay, I think I got almost everyone. Okay, gotcha. Well, yeah, now I'm going to swap games because I've been over 10 minutes playing this one. I have to swap. But yeah. A fantastic game, only $5. If you want to get DLC and uh, another game, Borderlands a pre-sequel, get the Handsome Collection, it's a little more expensive. And if you want the Game of the Year edition, that includes all the DLC, but it's more expensive, again. Now I'm going to swap to Fallout New Vegas. Hopefully it works and it doesn't crash. But yeah. Fallout New Vegas. Unfortunately, this one I have to started from the very beginning because I don't have a save file but hey, at least we can see the very start of it it's only 329 US dollars and if you want all the DLC it's 999 US dollars I'm not sure if the DLC is worth the jumping price from 329 to 999 but again just let me know in the in the chat I didn't play the DLC, so I cannot say. And Fallout 3 is the same price. If you want to play Fallout 3, is just go to the webpage. Same price for this, and for the DLC is $9.99. All the DLC plus the game. But I prefer New Vegas more due to the story. The story was more interesting. ¿Cuántos juegos tengo en Steam? 489. Sí, 489. Okay. Oh, look at this. I have a badass PC. Video settings have set for ultra high quality. Oh man. I'm in for a treat. Okay. It's going to be 1080p. Examples 16 times, 15 times in Astropic. No B Sync. Everything maxed out. Whatever. We don't care. Yeah, let's keep it like that. And jump right in. You can even do 4K if you want with this computer. You don't need much. It's super old. And there's also a lot of mods that you can try to improve graphics, to do interesting stuff with the game, or to just make it a whole different game. Endless hours of, of playing in this. Continue. Do I have a save file? What? Oh, yes. I do. Okay. I have a save file from the very beginning of the game. Awesome. I'm going to disconnect the controller. Who plays Fallout with a controller on PC? I don't know. Hola, Alois, ¿cómo estás? All right, I'm getting now terrible frame times, as you can see, super variable for some reason. Not sure what's up with that. Okay, I can aim down sights. I cannot do that in Fallout 3. Okay. But yeah, the game should run okay. I didn't I don't even know what to do. Give me one second. Oh man, it's been a while since I played this. Okay. Yeah, the frame time latency. Or whatever. Howdy. I'm not going to read. Uh, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Victor. Okay, that wasn't the guy I had to talk to. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think I read everything wrong. Nobody here. Yeah, I'm doing whatever. So let me read once again. Behind the saloon, but it's not there. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Okay, crouch. Well, that's a start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned enough. Let's play the game, please. Plus, my 750 Ti has four gigs of memory. Awesome. That's good. Man, the frame times. The game does not feel good. Not sure what's up with this. I mean, look at the camera. Probably an issue with the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you're not gonna buy something, get out. Hi there. Stick it. Let me see if there's something else. Okay, thirty. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Está todo en ultra, sí, por supuesto. Está al máximo con MSA por ocho, así que estamos sobrados ahí. Okay. Blah blah blah. Okay, another quest. Awesome. I'm trying to do whatever I can. Goodbye. Offer help ring blah blah. blah. I don't care. Okay, it's been a while. Anyways, I wanted to get that first out of the way. But yeah, I mean, I'm just concerned about the performance issues. Is this something wrong about the game? Or is something about the settings, if anybody knows? Because the frame times are just disgusting. I mean, <laughs> when I'm aiming, it's kind of weird, to say the least. Really? <laughs> he hates me now. No, no, no. Not you. Not you. Not you. Really? Okay. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. Okay, great. Finally. Oh yeah, never aim with that. What's the name of this? Without aiming down sights, you won't hit anything at all. As you can see. Let me see if I have something. No, I don't. Oh yeah, that was terrible. Sorry about that. I'm just going to swap to the next game. Genial. Taquito, me alegro. Está bueno eso. Te da más ganas de practicar después. I'm going to jump straight into Insurgency. Man, it's been a while since I played that one. But yeah, that was terrible. And the performance was weird. Not sure what's, what's up with that. And I'm going to jump into Insurgency now. This one, well, it's a good game. I don't really know why the price isn't $2 or a dollar. As far as I remember, the last sale was like a dollar. 
just for insurgency or two dollars so yeah something wrong with that one whatever battle complete pack worth it yes of course completely worth it you get a ton of great games including left of that too so i mean that's my favorite one of the bunch so yeah i highly recommend that one no music thanks and for the video on this one i'm going to lower the scope detail a little bit because it's it's doing scopes very accurately it uses more resources then two times msia and let me see this reminds me so much of the csgo options menu because it's the same engine that i forget each of the options give me one second yeah let's try this okay awesome also if you have more money to spare get insurgency sunstorm is a fantastic game highly recommended let me see if somebody is playing this okay it seems like it but i'm just going to play with bots very quickly because i have to jump into another game after this one so yeah it won't take long si soy de argentina no soy de uruguay pero anduviste cerca hablamos muy parecido hello crack and t how are you doing 2600 plus 570 4 gigabytes good combo yes of course it will use a 570 to its maximum its maximum potential so yeah it will be all right thanks kraken i appreciate it tengo un i3 7100 una 1030 8 gigas de ram mm. está esa ram en dual channel es esencial que esté en dual channel para gta 5 Hello, Sammy MDP. How are you doing? Good to see you. You got poor performance in Insurgency. In which level? Because some maps are more demanding than others. And sometimes when there's a lot going on, it can drop quite drastically. Where is Sweden? In Sweden. Crash Team Racing. No salió en PC. Ah, y bueno, capaz que dentro de un año. I screwed up. Awesome. Never mind. But as you can see, the performance here is good. But once we get into the... or just a scope or something, we get some performance drops. This is not a scope, unfortunately. But yeah, I mean, the game is pretty good, considering it's the Source engine. It has a lot of interesting graphics but yeah you can tell this is not unreal engine or something else and i'm not sure why i stuttered over there i forgot this is not call of duty all right whoa rpg <laughs> yeah i saw that one Okay, I'm going to possess this bot. Okay, he's down. You two are down as well. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not sure why it started that way. Maybe because it's bots. Oh yeah, they destroyed me as you can see. And that was a uh, and that was bots. So I still want to play with bots. I mean, I think it's worth just playing with bots on this one. If there's no people to play with. Oh yeah, let me try that again. Si es dual channel, Kingston. Pero probablemente bajarle a las sombras un poco. Por alguna razón usa mucho CPU a veces. No sé, a veces le bajo a las sombras y usa menos CPU. Es medio raro. El GTA V con eso. You got Insurgency for free. It was free for like three days. I don't remember when, but I think it was. I still think it's worth the price though. Oh yeah, I don't fall for that twice. What? Okay. <laughs> Never mind, I fell for that twice. And this one has a shotgun, for some reason. 
see if I can get him from a distance. I don't even know where I'm shooting it. Okay. Yo, guys, I'm loading. Oh yeah, not a good idea to go with a shotgun. At least not in long range. Okay, I got him. Never mind. Shotgun for the win. Oh, hello. Gotcha. Oh, finally, a scope. Well, as you can see, the scopes in this game will only magnify in the scope itself instead of zooming in the whole camera, as you can see. This is something I love about the Insurgency series. But it's a huge performance hit. As you can see, I have 62% GPU usage. I aim and I get 80%. In Insurgency Sandstorm, this is even worse, so at least you can disable it on that game. Really? There we go. But yeah, I really, really like this feature. I wish more games tried, tried this out. I think Call of Duty Ghosts also does this. Oh yeah, the downside is the performance hit. Anyways, I'm going to swap to the next game after I shoot somebody else. Okay, I don't see anything. Those are friendlies. Okay, RPG. So let's swap to the next game now. Let me see if I can close it from here. So yeah, I like that one. Even if you play without humans, it's still fun. Pretty punishing, as you can see. If you don't pay attention. Now the next one is Just Cause 3. Let me change the name over here. That's not the name. Now we're talking. So, just cause 3, that game is only 2.99 US dollars. If you want to get just cause 2, that one is 149. So yeah, for 149 you can get just cause 2 for double the price, 2.99, just cause 3. Both excellent games. Just Cause 3, I like it more for the since you have a wingsuit and a better grappling hook. Other than that, what I don't like about it is the performance. It uses a ton of CPU and quite a bit of VRAM. VRAM, sorry. Other than that, very fun. But yeah. Do you think the 1660 Ti is good? Yes, it's fantastic. It's a very good GPU for the price, I think, at least in my opinion. But yeah, I have a couple videos on it. You can do 1080p Ultra on pretty much all games. So yeah, thanks, thanks to Kick Gaming. <laughs> yeah, it's a very simple haircut. I don't really have a lot of problems with just taking the hair off. But yeah, bueno Sergio, bueno, hay subtítulos en tiempo real en inglés, capaz que eso te ayuda. <laughs> no sé. ¿Qué diferencia hay entre una 1050 de 4 y una de 2? No hay 1050 de 4, a menos que sea una laptop. En ese caso sería la misma placa de video, pero con más memoria de video. Podrías usar mejores texturas. I have Amazon Prime, so it's better to get everything on Amazon. So around 370 on tax. Well, awesome. That's great, man. Mm, 1660 is good. It should be faster than a 1060 and a little better than a 580. So yeah, if you find a good price, I think it's a good purchase. 1660 Ti with Ryzen 7 1700, how's that? Well, the 1700 in games that don't take advantage of the extra threats will run like a Ryzen 5 1600 or a little worse. So I will try to overclock it. Other than that, it's still usable. I think it's a good combination, especially if you do video production. For video production, that processor is amazing. <laughs> I, I used that for like a year. I need, I mean, it never let me down. Fantastic CPU for that. And for gaming, it holds up, but you can overclock it for better performance. The problem is that Argentina is in price. Yes, it's salado. Yes, yes, Valve doesn't know anything about the problem of the dollar. What do you think of the rare 150 of 3 GB? Ah, 1050 of 3 GB. And it's a 1050 Ti. 
con menos memoria y un bus menos un bus más chiquito así que está entre una D50 y una D50 Ti es medio raro raro, sí opino que es un, una estupidez, pero bueno depende del precio ok, I'm going to now select 1080p and since I want close to 60 I'm going to lower the settings I'm going to get rid of that fulfilled get rid of screen space reflections no global illumination no motion blur because I don't like that no screen space ambient occlusion shadows on medium LOD factor on medium and this is pointless water on high and taxes on high because uses a lot of VRAM and I'm going to use SMAA since this one SMAA T2X uses for some reason has I'm not sure if it takes samples from previous frames but it makes the game look kind of blurry for some reason like, like if I'm watching a YouTube video kind of weird and I forgot that I don't have a save file on this PC whatever the start is a lot of action so I'm going to skip it skip 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 straight into the action as you can see the CPU usage will just go to 100% pretty often for this, thank you very much. The statue as well, never mind. I missed, I missed again. Jesus, there we go. This too. The Sam's, goodbye Sam. And I think this is about it. I'm going to fall from the plane in about a second. So yeah, not much to do in this one, and as you can see the frame times are even worse than our Fallout New Vegas. So that's that. Expect that throughout the whole game, <laughs> depending on what's going on of course. And after like 40 or 60 minutes of gameplay you might go over 8 gigs of RAM usage, of system RAM usage. As you can see right now we are around 7.3 gigabytes. So yeah. Performance on this is not good. But, I mean, even on consoles, on consoles it drops below 30 very often, especially with a lot of uh, explosions on screen. So yeah. Alright, out of the plane. But yeah, a really fun game. If you like destruction, if you like flying around with an infinite parachute, and later a wingsuit. And yeah, just stupid fun. And I don't have a grappling hook for some reason. What the hell? Never mind, there it is. So yeah, you get infinite parachutes, infinite grappling hook, and you just need to have fun. That's all the game requires. But it can get very repetitive after a while. I mean, after three or four hours, it will be the same after the same just destroying stuff to advance so if you like the story which is very just very stupid go ahead but i like it for the stupid fun i don't get tired of flying around blowing stuff up but yeah and the driving i don't like the driving the driving is something i'd rather skip but in this mission is something necessary but again only three dollars so why not give it a try Oh yeah, the driving is terrible. I'm wishing for this to be over as soon as possible. Hello. Yeah, 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 let's keep going. And after I get into the tank and fire a few rounds, I'll go to the next game. It should be more than 10 minutes already. But yeah, it's kind of hard to... I don't know, take the time for each. It's been, what, 45 minutes? Not bad. I thought it was already an hour. Come on, almost there. i7-3770 can handle 1060. Yes, of course. Just make sure you go for dual channel on the RAM. That's crucial. Well, that's essential. Because if I say crucial, it means, I don't know, the brand. How do I get out of this? What the hell? Okay. It was E. 
Okay, fire a few rounds with the with the tank. Oh yeah, this is what the game is about. Destruction, destruction and destruction and flying around. And the gas stations have the biggest explosions in the entire game, so make sure to destroy those. As you can see, a huge explosion. Beautiful. And for some reason the mouse sensitivity is super high. Okay, I fixed it, but now it's super slow. What's up with mouse sensitivity in these games? But the frame times again are pretty bad. With a better CPU should be more stable. But yeah, that's just cause 3. Let's jump into the next game. Wings of challenges are horrendous. Yeah, I never played them because I, I was told that they were horrendous. So yeah, don't do the challenges of the wingsuit. Not good stuff. The next one, Left 4 Dead 2. This is a game that I... One of my favorite games, better said. So yeah, I'm happy to play it for the channel. Let's go. This is 199 US dollars. So yeah, just 2 dollars. Another super cheap game that everyone should have in their Steam accounts. No, V-Sync was disabled. I never enabled V-Sync. If it was, it was a mistake. Saludos desde Chile. Bueno, gracias, Matías. Y suerte con la Copa América. Ryzen 5 3600 will be the best option, but we'll see. Yeah, I mean, we still don't have any benchmarks. Probably next week, but uh, yeah. Super excited for that one. So I'm going to do 1080p, max settings, and um, 8 times MSAA. This game is very old, it runs on, on a potato. So yeah, just go to the maximum settings if you have this PC. You're going to do 4K medium on this one. If you have an RX 570, you, you get 4K 60 max settings. And one thing I want to note, there's also an option to get Left 4 Dead 1 and 2, both uh, the, in a bundle, for I think it was 223 US dollars. It's like 30 cents more. But I don't recommend it because we get the. Um, as you can see, this is the Left 4 Dead 2 campaigns. But then we have the Sacrifice, No Mercy, Crash Course. These are all levels from Left 4 Dead 1. So you get both campaigns from the two games with the better mechanics of Left 4 Dead 2. So, I mean, right now I don't see a reason to get Left 4 Dead 1 because you have <laughs> both campaigns on this. So, yeah. I'm just going to do this one, escaping the town in hard rain because that's where I get the lowest frames. But that's about it. Can I 57400 gigs of RAM and 1660DR run any game at 1080p high 60 frames? No, not all games. Assassin's Creed Odyssey will be won't get to 60, at least not in big cities. It depends on the game, man. Most games should be fine. Some CPU intensive stuff won't get 60s. But you'll get to play just fine. <laughs> That's about it. Saludos de Perú. Bueno, saludos de Uruguay, Luisito. Okay, what the... Oh, I have a controller turned on for some reason. Let me disable that. <laughs> because I couldn't move. I couldn't move. Word gamepad disabled. Thank you. Finally. Okay. Let's go for the shotgun. This is a mod. This is instead of having a, a magnum, a magnum, you have a hand. So this is just a, a mod that uses a hand instead of the magnum model. <laughs> Pretty ridiculous, as you can see. Just a little bit of fun. But yeah, let's get this and get going. As you can see, the game runs just fine. It's super old, super easy to run. But still a lot of fun. And for some reason, it's kept at 120. I think I have Fast Sync enabled in, in the Nvidia control panel. So I don't get any screen tear, but the game is kept at 120. I think it's a good... Uh, 
I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing to have a 120 FPS cap and you get no tearing. And you don't get the latency of V-Sync, so if you can use fast sync, use it. If you have a ton of frames, like here, the game will be capped at 120, you have a 60Hz monitor, doesn't matter, but you get no screen tear. I really love that feature. AMD has the same thing, it's called, I think, Enhanced Sync or something like that. But yeah, use it, super helpful, if you have performance to spare. And you don't want any screen set. But yeah. Okay. The horde is on the way. And if 400F compatible with SIT 370, I'm not sure. I forgot. I don't remember, but just look up the motherboard on the on Google. You get the website of the motherboard and in that website it will say which CPUs are compatible. And if you need a BIOS update and all that stuff, it's super important. Because you might buy the motherboard thinking it's, it works, but you need a BIOS update, so you need a CPU from a previous gen in order to update it. So yeah, be aware of that. Just look at the motherboard motherboard's webpage and it will be fine. You can find out without a doubt. But yeah. Oh yeah, this is a great game, I highly recommend it, just $1.99, it runs on a potato, and if you can play it with friends instead of bots, it's even better, because everything is better with friends. Yeah, don't do this when you're playing with your friends, they will hate you if you go straight into the tank. I'm just doing this so I can f stop playing the game. Okay, never mind. But yeah, great game. Nothing else to say about it. <laughs> and I think I'm going to... Okay, after this small horde, I'm going to jump into the next one. It was boring. Well, to you it might be boring, but to me it's fun. I don't know. I cannot really explain it. Alright, almost there. Why do you love the 1050 Ti so much? I don't. <laughs> I prefer the 570 now. But what I like about the 1050 Ti is that it allows me to make more videos. So that's pretty much the case because everyone was interested in it. So when I made videos, a lot of people wanted to see them. That made the channel work. The 750 Ti is the same way. So yeah, I just do it because people ask for it. But right now we get the 570. This is just as an example. I just know that if it runs on the 1050 Ti, it runs on the 570 better, so if you get a 570, this will run better than this, this game. So yeah, as a reference, I think it's good. The price right now is not really good, it's a little too high. Okay. Let's jump into the next game. It was almost over. That was the last mission of the of that chapter. Okay. Now we're going to jump into Mad Max, an underrated game. Let me change the name here, Mad Max. And how much is Mad Max right now is 4.99. So this is the most expensive game in this list. It's just $5, and it's a game made by Avalanche Studios, the people behind Just Cause, Rage 2, all that stuff. So they know how to make open world games. Heard about all the paid... What you're talking about? I don't get it. Oh, what did AMD buy? I don't know. I really have no idea. What did they buy? It would be interesting to know. Rust is fun with friends because if you've solo you get jumped by three people. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. 
Ayer me compré el Mad Max y hoy vi en tu video. Qué buena compra. Sí, es un muy buen juego. Solo 5 dólares. <coughs> Excuse me, disculpen. Y sí, muchas horas de juego. Se ve muy bien. Corre bastante bien también. Is the 1660 Ti worth it? Well, it depends on the price. It performs between a 5 a 1070. Yeah, similar to a 1070. So if you find it cheaper than a 1070, I will go for it. Great, great performance. You can do 1080p Ultra on almost everything. Okay, I'm going to go with high settings. I don't want to tweak the game. I'm not really. I don't really have a lot of time for that. So let's keep it like this on high settings, without VSync. And I'm going to resume my game. I'm not sure if I played very far into the story. It doesn't really matter that much. But yeah, so either way, the SM. But yeah, this one has a big open world. You have car combat, hand-to-hand -hand combat, similar to the Arkham games. I'm going to use a controller for the combat. And it runs very well. As you can see, high settings, 80 frames. And you can customize your car Oh, I remember this. Okay, this is not a good idea. But yeah, you have to invade these bases. And they have different security mechanics, to say it in some way. So you have to destroy the, the, fuel, the fuel containers there, so you're able to access without getting burnt. And all that stuff. It really depends on what you are invading. And I forgot how to play the game. Awesome. How do I play this? <laughs> I don't even remember how to use the winch. Okay, no first person. No thanks. I'll disable the music. Sorry about this, guys. But you never know. The YouTube bot can be quite stupid. So I just keep it like that. Okay, I gotta get out of the vehicle. They're going to die so quickly. Oh yeah, as you can see, a lot of effects on screen. This is for the benchmark, benchmark purposes. A lot of effects on screen and you still get 60s with high settings. But I'm not sure what my save file leads to this. I'm <laughs> going to die so quickly. Oh yeah. What the hell? <laughs> okay, I I died. Awesome. Okay, where is this? Yeah, let's try this. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Stack storage coolers. Oh, awesome. I didn't know. I'll research about that after the live stream. Oh yeah, the ray tracing stuff. Yeah, I saw that about the ray tracing stuff. It's a hybrid solution. Hey. Pretty interesting. Right, Let's get into the vehicle. Hi, Nexon the Gamer. How's it going? But well, yeah, let me show you the map very quickly. I'm right here, and you get all this, all this stuff over here, and all this place that I haven't been to yet. Oh yeah, this is a ton of, of map, as you can see. I mean, I'm just right here, and what I see there into the distance is like this thing. So I'm trying. I'm going to go into one of these bases, probably. If I remember which one it was. Okay, let's destroy that. Oh, there's also turbo if you want to use it. <laughs> but yeah, the game looks pretty good considering it's just a desert. And it's a big open world, so you can go whatever you want as long as you have enough level and weapons and all that. And I'm terrible at driving in this game as you can very easily see. And the phone in my house is ringing. Give me one second, guys.
Okay guys, I gotta go, unfortunately, so I'll very quickly just crash my car into something <laughs> and finish the live stream. I'm so sorry, but I gotta go somewhere, unfortunately. But at least I've been, what, an hour streaming, so that's awesome. And I could show you some games. After I close this game, I'll just show you why I recommend the other three or four that I was going to play. And I'll be on my way. I'm so, so sorry. I was expecting to be another hour playing games. But that's not the case, and I gotta leave unexpectedly. So yeah, it'll be like another five minutes. Probably. And then I'll be back to just monetize this video, hopefully. If I can do so from my phone, of course. Wife is angry? No, no. I'm still not married. Maybe one day, but not today. Do the intro. Hello, everyone. Ah, oh, that was terrible, sorry. Hello, everyone. I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm gonna be leaving in five minutes on the 1050 Ti. How? I don't know. Okay, here's the camp. How do I get out of the car? There we go. How do I get into the camp? Not from here. Alright, whatever. Oh yeah, you can get into the camp and fight people Arkham style. But yeah, highly recommended for $4.99. Good visuals, good performance, big open world, and yeah. And the other games I'm recommending this time around are Metro Redux. This one is what? Let me check. Metro Redux is... 4.99 and Metro 20 and Metro Last Light Redux is also 4.99 but if you want to get both games 2033 and Last Light you get to pay 7.49 I'll get that bundle if you had the budget then the other game is Portal 2 just a dollar <laughs> 99 cents amazing game go for it then we got Resident Evil 4 only five dollars you know Resident Evil 4 right now by now, better said. Uh, yeah, just Resident Evil 4. You can mod it to hell and get better textures, better lighting. There's a great project going on called RE4 HD with way better textures, better lighting, all that. It's going to be finished next year, I think, hopefully. And finally, the best deal is Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. As you can see here, let me go into the store page. It's only $2. Yeah, I'm, I was born in 2000. I'm not. I'm from 95. But yeah, only $2 for Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. Great game. It's like open world Hong Kong. So it's GTA Hong Kong. This was originally True Crime Hong Kong. Then another company bought it and finished it. You get martial arts combat. You can grapple enemies. As you can see, this is very monetizable. <laughs> And then you also get weapon combat that you can use while doing bolting, for example, or running. Pretty interesting. I didn't use many weapons, but the hand-to-hand -hand combat is way more interesting. But yeah, just $2 and you get all the DLC. This is my currency, 53 pesos. Don't pay attention to this. I'm from Uruguay. But yeah, great game. So yeah, that was the video. It was going to be way longer than this, but I had to go. I'm so sorry, guys. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this live stream. I hope it's been fun or whatever. I'm going to put timestamps in the comments once I finish processing this video. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you can buy a ton of stuff on the Steam sale. We still have a week to go. But yeah, see you next time, guys. I hope I can stream more often, but these things just make it more difficult. But yeah, <laughs> see you next time, man. Yeah, yeah, fam. See you next time, fam. <laughs> yeah, bye, guys. I love you.